What's happening topside, Lee? The storm's still at hurricane velocity. What about the trapped diver? Well, all we know is he's down there somewhere with that wrecked atomic sub. Admiral, we're getting a video phone contact from Naval Rescue Ship 837. Pipe it through on the monitor. Aye, sir. Turn it on, Phil. Admiral Nelson, Commander Finch here. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Commander. What's the situation now? Well, it's not good. Storm shows no sign of letting up, and we can't make contact with the trapped diver. You're his only hope if you can make it in time. Well, we'll do the best we can. I know that. Stan Kowalski's a good man, Admiral. If you can save him, I'll be personally indebted. Good luck. Phil. A relative of yours, Kowalski? Yes. Stan, my older brother. A diving specialist with the Navy. I, I never thought about it being him. One that's trapped. Fine. Well, then, then, we'll get him out of there, Kowalski. Son of Kowalski's brother, sir. How are you doing, Lee? I'm going out now. Give me the electric torch. Sir. Get back here, okay, will you? What does it look like? Well, I'm getting close to the sub, but I haven't spotted Kowalski's brother. Well, it might be on the other side of the hull. Admiral, hmm? listen to this. What are you making it, sir? You have zeroed in on the source? Yes, sir. It's coming from that sub out there, where Stan's trapped. Sounds like torpedo timers. Could have been activated by water seepage. Lee, get back to CPO. That sub's torpedoes are about to fire. No, wait. I just spotted it. Any longer, sir. Those torpedoes are ready to go now. They get back right away. There's no more time. It's all right. I've got him. He's either unconscious or, or dead. I was standing by. a brave man, sir, but if those torpedoes let loose, and they're homing torpedoes, there won't be any sea view for him to return to, even if Stan's still alive. He'll make it all right, Kowalski. Admiral, the skipper's reached the hatch. Get ready to move out. All right. Engine room, stand by.
Sir, skipper's back aboard. Move out fast. The torpedoes are ready to fire. All ahead, flank. Evasive action. All hands, emergency stations. Aye, sir. Control report. Dead in the water, sir. Power failure in all engines. Get repair parties working on it. I'm the double. Aye, sir. If we don't hit bottom soon, we'll be beyond crush depth. We're in a deep trench area. I hope we don't find out how deep it is the hard way. Permission to be relieved, sir. I mean, if we've only got a few minutes left, I'd sort of like to see my brother. Go ahead, Kowalski. Thank you, sir. Pressure's getting to us. coming around. Should be good as new in an hour or so. Easy, Stan. Easy. Kid, what... Where am I? On my ship to see you. Our skipper got you out. Wow. Well, like I always used to say, kid, I'm too mean to die. You throw me to the fish and they throw me right back. What was that? The uh, torpedoes ran wild from the sub you were working on. Our engines are dead and we're sinking. Estimated crush depth. We've hit bottom. All hands, take emergency precautions. We're below crush depth. Repeat. All hands take emergency precautions. Take it easy, huh, Stan? I'll see you later. Hey, no, wait, kid. Uh, look, uh, I, I'm uh, going to come with you, see? <laughs> Are you flipped or something? You stay right here. No, I said I'm coming with you. Doc! Now, how about it? You sure you're all right? Look, I never felt better. <laughs> the way I figure it is, if I don't... Say hello to the guy who saved me, why I might not ever get a chance. All right. Put these on. Thanks, Doc. Let him stay with you, Kowalski. Maybe none of us has too much time left. What about us, box? Any chance of reaching the surface? No, I'm afraid not, sir. That blast shattered four banks of output circuitry. What about those portable transceivers? Well, there's not enough power at this depth to reach the surface, sir. All right. Keep trying. Yes, sir. Hmm. 
No radio communication. Uh, what about the uh, telephone boy? Well, we tried it. The storm snapped the cable. Uh, all right. I guess we'll have to make it on our own. This is my brother, sir. Stan Kowalski. Do you want me back on Sonar Skipper? No, we don't need it now. Lay after the missile room with damage control party three. Hi, right, sir. Please stand. Yeah. It must be Captain Crane. That's right. Well, thanks, Captain. No, forget it. I can't. It isn't uh, every man who gets a chance to die twice. It's a strange way of putting it. Oh, I didn't say I wasn't grateful, Admiral. I, I know the captain uh, stuck his neck out to save me. All I meant was it might have been better if he'd let me die the first time. Stop that kind of talk. We're a long way from being dead. I've checked out the air purification system. Completely wrecked. Take dioxide crew a week to repair. Right, Jack. You see, Admiral? Now I have to die all over again. I uh, know you've been through a rough time, Kowalski, but you're still a sailor. So stop crying. Lay after the missile room and lend a hand with damage control on the double. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, let's see what we can do about this mess we're in. Hi, kid. Stan. Your, uh, your admiral doesn't seem to think much of me. He likes his men to be real gung-ho. Ready to die like gentlemen. for about uh, two hours. Chip, prepare the flying sub for immediate launch. The flying sub? That's the only way we can get word to the surface. We're on the bottom, sir. There's no way to launch it. That's a false assumption we all made. The profile analysis scanner shows we're resting on rocks and midships. But the bow portion is clear. We'll be ready in five minutes. Chief, on the handle of the flying sub. All right, sir. If it wasn't for your brother, we wouldn't be in this mess. Lay off, Kruger. It wasn't his fault. Well, if he's such a big hero, let him get us out of it. He got us into it. I said shut up. Forget it, kid. He's not a sailor. He's a plumber. And a sloppy one at that. You've got a big mouth. I told you to lay off. Hey, you got any fighting to do? How about trying me? All right, hold it. Both of you. That live steam hit you, kid? Yeah, a little. All right, why don't you lay up to sick bay and let the doc take a look at it? Go on, move. You know, you're lucky. That kid could have taken you even with one arm. Is it operable? No power for launch, sir, but we might get you going manually. Better not use my three quarts thrust in the engine. The cooling system won't take it. Uh, communication? You'll have to use a transceiver. Uh, how about my going along with you? You can always use an extra hand if anything goes wrong, sir. Uh, thanks, Chief. But I don't want the extra weight. Oh, geez. If I make it, I'll have the rescue ship send out a diving bell, right? Aye, aye, sir.
Quickly, my motion knocked that sub loose. It's heading on a tangent towards Sidio. Emergency, all hands. Brace for collision. Close emergency doors. They're jammed tight, Skipper. I can't move them. I'm chasing the sub down. Gonna try to shove it aside. You'll never make it, Admiral. Admiral, do you read me? Go back. It's too late. Closing it out now. Isn't too bad, Kowalski. Might smart a little, but you'll be all right in a couple of days. Doc. Mm-hmm. About my brother Stan. What about him? Did he, uh, you know, did he seem all right to you? For a man who was trapped underwater for several hours, a man whose tanks ran out of air before he was hauled aboard, yes, I'd say he got through it fine. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's just that, um, it, it couldn't have affected him some other way, could it? You mean psychologically? Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Why, does he seem to be acting strangely to you? Kind of different, I guess. Not surprising. Anyone who's been through what he went through is bound to have some traumatic shock. A thing like that can change a man's behavior pattern. Even change his personality to some degree. It could, huh? Definitely. There you are. If it gives you any trouble or pain, you come back and see me. Thanks, Doc. And about your brother, I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. These after effects are usually not long lasting. I hope you're right. Thanks again, huh? It's not as bad as I thought, Lee. The engine's still okay, but the stabilization electrodes burned out. Well, that doesn't do you much good. The replacement parts are aboard the Sea View. How much air do you have? About uh, 20 minutes. I'll try to get a replacement to you. But you can't use scuba gear at this depth. We have Stan Kowalski's deep pressure suit aboard. Chief, sir, get me a stabilization electrode from stores. I want it in a waterproof deep pressure pack. I guess. Well, we've got another problem, Lee. Look at this radiation level. Have you zeroed in on it? Aye, sir. It's coming from that other submarine. Oh. Water must have gotten to the atomic reactors. If it keeps on, it'll reach critical mass. Well, I can't worry about it now. Take over the con ship. The Admiral's trapped in the flying sub. He's about 100 yards off the port bow. Now, there's a chance we can save him. But we're going to need your help. 
My help, Captain? Yes. Somebody has to take a replacement part out to him. You're the only one who knows how to use the deep pressure suit. Sorry, Captain. You better get yourself another boy. You're kidding, Stan. Huh? He's kidding, Skipper. He'll take out whatever you want him to take out. I wouldn't go out there for anything or anybody. I don't believe you. I just don't believe you. A man who's gone out as many times as you have. And after this sub gotten this mess to save your skin. And you're saying you won't go out? You better believe it, kid. Brother, no brother. I apologize. He's got a right to his own mind. Here's a replacement electrode, Skipper. You're, you're not going to go out that thing, are you, sir? Yes. What about him? Uh, he's not going. Mm -hmm. Seems to have a little problem about it. Boy, huh? Well, I got a little problem about him. Chief, forget it. Just give me a hand. Come on. Put that suit's... You don't know how to run it, sir. You just make one wrong guess on any one of those connections and you'll be... that's the way it's going to be now. Come on. Oh, man. I just can't figure you, Stan. You were the yellow streak. Look, it's just common sense, kid. If I thought I had a chance, why, I'd go out. You know he can't operate that suit. So he wants to die a hero? Let him. Oh, you slob. What kind of a jerk are you? A smart one, Chief. That's enough. Look, you get me a portable transceiver. I'll talk you where you want to go. I'll tell you everything. Everything you need. Get it, Chief. Oh, please, Skipper, you can't trust the guy like this. Get it. Now listen, this is your depth sensor. This is your balance and gravity control. This is your pressure control. Commander, the radiation from that atomic sub is getting worse. Keep your eye on it. When it reaches condition red, let me know. I see. Control. We're starting to lose men from the bad air. Try anything to get that purification system working. Aye, sir. Sir, this is Chief Sharkey. The skipper just left the sea view through the escape hatch. What do you mean, Captain Crane's going out? Where's Stan Kowalski? It's a long story, sir, but we're going to try to talk the skipper over to the flying sub. Request permission to use control room monitor. You have it. Lay up here on the double. Aye, sir. Activate nose camera. Pipe it through on the control room monitor screen. Aye, sir. Oh, what's going on, Chief? Uh, you know the skipper, someone this jerk wouldn't go out. He picked up all the models. Commander, you better get that thing on. Turn it on. The nose camera will pick up Captain Crane when he clears the bow. You can give him better directions with a visual sighting. I know my job, Commander. You and his brother Kowalski, you better see that he does his job. This is the captain. Can you read me? Loud and clear. 
I can see you now. I take it easy. Now turn your pressure knob full left before your suit collapses. All right, now use your middle knob to adjust your center of gravity. You're building up too much inside pressure in the suit. Too much. You'll blow up. That's it. I'm on my way with the electrodes. Originally. You're being a real fine hero so far, Captain. But if you don't adjust your depth sensor, you're never going to make it. Which knob is it? I'm losing control. The top one. No, the top one. That's it. surface in two minutes. That'll give you a chance to get back to Seaview before I start my engines. Right. Good luck. What's that? All place buckling. Watch the captain. We're cracking up. We're... Gonna crack up. Get the captain back. Captain, you're 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 getting too much uh, inside pressure. Use the helium valve. Which valve? Which one is it? It's the. It's the. It's. It's. We're breaking up. Damn the skipper! He'll die out there. Which one is it? Get back here. Look here, I can't. Don't you understand? We're breaking up. We're gonna drown! I can't! Look! I don't know what's been eating you, but I do know one thing. You're gonna get the skipper back alive. Now move! Top and back. C Captain. Captain. There's a helium valve located inside the belt. Activate it. Activate it. Remix your air supply with the other controls in the belt.
Casoncillo. Ve. Ve. Sí, el admiral. Go ahead, admiral. I have replaced the electrode, but the, uh, the engine still won't start. Hang on. Phil. The thrust tubes are stuck in the silt. You'll never get it started till they're cleared. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, uh, listen up. Fire a laser beam. A near miss might uh, blow the silt away from the tubes. A too near a miss will blow you to smithereens. Uh, there's no choice. Now blast away. Right, Phil. You're cutting it awfully closely. It's got to be close. Up, it's gone. No. No, there it is. I can't make it to the surface. The engine's acting up very badly. I got just enough power to get back to see you. Flying sub berth. The Admiral's coming back aboard. So he couldn't make it to the surface? No. What's your latest inspection report? Well, sir, it could be a lot worse. Oh, the uh, repair parties haven't had any luck with the uh, pump room or the engines, and uh, we can't purify the air yet, but uh, we don't have any more new leaks. Not to mention the fact that our air supply is just about gone, hull's being crushed. Radiation from the sunken sub is reaching critical point. Yeah, yeah, well, I forgot to mention those uh, little things. I better pipe the Admiral aboard. What do you think, Lee? Well, let's hope the Admiral has a few ideas. See what's wrong with us, sir. Don't bother to see if it can't be repaired in time. We're not going to try to fix things that we know can't work. We're going to use something that's operating perfectly. And what's that? Follow me. You too, Chief. Take over the time, Chief. Uh, what does he mean we're going to use something that's working perfectly? We don't have anything that's even working. Come on, let's go. I want these air tanks filled. Not just working pressure, but absolute maximum. Aye, aye, sir. You're going to blow the suit up and then send it to the surface? That's right. With enough inside pressure, it'll reach the surface in minutes. Oh, even if it does, an empty diving suit can't lead anyone down to us. I didn't say it was going to be empty. Where's Kowalski's brother? You're not thinking of trying to send him up, are you? No, I'm going. You're going to what? Uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean it that way. But, uh, but for you to go up in this thing, you don't stand a chance. What kind of a chance have we got here, Chief? A lot better than you'll have. I don't think so. That was Stan Kowalski to help me. Oh, man, he's worse than no help at all. He almost got the skipper killed blowing a stack when a steam pipe went. Look, I know all the arguments against it. Now, where can I find him? He's in the circuitry room. He's not going to be any help turning yellow like that. Shut up, Kruger. 
Maybe I don't feel like shutting up. Maybe I figure like the rest of the crew. He got us into this mess, and the gutless wonder just sits there. I said, shut up. Look at him sitting there, breathing air that belongs to us. Taking away air that means our lives. Maybe I ain't gonna let him do it. Maybe I'm gonna give it to him right now. So. Something wrong, Kowalski? No, sir. Kruger, he got a little dizzy. Kind of bumped his head for a minute. That's what it was, sir. Bad air, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, everything looks under control here. You better get down to the pump room and give him a hand. Hi, sir. I said the pump room. Hi, sir. I need your help. You must be kidding, Admiral. Look, nobody's kidding here now. I need your help, and you're going to give it to me. What do you think I can do for you? You can get me to the surface in that diving suit of yours. You're going to try and reach the surface in my pressure suit? That's right. It can't be done. Well, I'm going, Kowalski, with or without your help. If I don't, you and everybody aboard will be dead within 15 minutes. Now, are you going to help? I'm just going to stand there wrapped in self-pity until you die. Look, that suit's still in the experimental stage. You'll never make it. I'm still going to try. The odds are a thousand to one. Roughly, roughly. I don't get it. What kind of man are you anyway? Aren't, aren't you scared? What's that got to do with it? I don't know. I, I always thought... That the men that risk their lives don't know what fear is. You're not the only one who's been scared, Kowalski. But certain things have to be done, and this is one of them. It frightens you, didn't it? Well, it frightens me, too. But not enough to stop me from trying to reach the surface. Now, let's go! Section B-24 just collapsed. Damage control reports rapid flooding. All available hands. Lay aft to hull section B-24 on the double. Chief. Sir. Lend the repair party a hand. Get that flooding under control. Aye, sir. What about the admiral? If we can't stop the flooding, he won't have a chance to try it to the surface. Come on. It's no good, Admiral. Get out! Get out! Move out the minute I do. You can't pull it. Shut up and get ready. Now. All right. Uh, Admiral, I, I want to thank you. I mean, if you hadn't lifted that thing, I... I'll forget it. Now, let's get to the suit. Look, sir, look. You... Your hands are burned. You, you can't go up now. You'll never be able to control those valves. Never. I'm going up. It's up to you whether you want to help or not. Admiral! Captain, what's the report on the collapsed hull section? We've lost a couple of men, but we're holding our own. 
All right, keep working. Aye, sir. Admiral, this is Lee. Do you read me? Admiral! Circuitry room from control. Admiral, do you read me? Can you hear me down there? Communications must be blown. <sighs> They're operating all right in the other compartments. Why doesn't he answer? Captain, this is Stan Kowalski. Can you hear me? Yes. Where's the Admiral? We're in the missile room. The Admiral's suited up, ready to go out the escape hatch. You'll need help down there. I'll, uh, I'll send down a party. No time, sir. The Admiral's in the escape hatch now, and I'm sending him on his way. Uh, hold until I get there. You hear me? Ho Kowalski! Take over. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Admiral, this is Crane. Admiral, do you read me? I heard it over the PA, Skipper. The Admiral's gone up? That's right. No Stan, huh? No Stan. The Admiral's gone. I can't raise him on the transceiver, and there's no sign of Stan Kowalski. Sparks. See if you can pick up the Admiral in a sail camera. Pipe it through the monitor. Aye, sir. Phil. Where is he? He's got a long way to go. Admiral. Come in. Admiral. There he is, sir. It looks like you might make it. Keep your fingers crossed. He's in trouble. It's the air tanks. The tanks have blown up. Phil, turn it. Turn it off. It didn't have to happen. Stan Kowalski had done what he... Sorry, Kowalski. It's all right, sir. I, I, I just can't figure it. Looks like that's it, Lee. We'll, uh, we'll keep trying, Chip. Now, I hear this. With the exception of work parties, all hands lie on the deck. No unnecessary moving or talking. Ghostly? Yes, your suit. I saw it explode. Oh, that, that was Stan Kowalski. Kowalski? Yeah, he wouldn't let me go up with his hands. He's, he said I couldn't handle the valves. Oh, that wouldn't stop you. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, that spanner wrench he hit me with certainly did. What was it, Admiral? Self-sacrifice. Panic escape. If his tanks blew up, we'll never know. I, but I like to think that maybe he's trying to make up for this. Topside hatch. 
We know that sound is a diving bell settling under place. I saw your tanks blow. Well, only only one, sir. It blew me about 50 feet starboard, but I made it. The rescue ship's diving bell is topside? Yes, sir. It'll take a while, but if we can hold out, we can get the crew out of here. All right, men. Up the ladder. All hands, lay forward to the control room. No exceptions. On the double. That's all this trip. All right, we're the last. Let's get aboard, Pacer. Atomic sub that's gonna blow any second. Let's go. lower and we would have had it. Mm. Well, we're all right now. We'll be on the surface in a matter of minutes. I guess the sea is done for. Lost. No, not, not at all. We can get a party of divers down there to start immediate salvage operations. On a job like that, Admiral, you're going to need some pretty good men. I know just the guy to lead them. Me. Come off it, Stan. You're in no shape. Kid, I never felt better in my life. <laughs> 